Nesperance, and the little uh, Nissan. Ryan Penn, Ben Pollard, Ryan Brown, Dave Padmore, Damien Amato, and Chelsea Dunn. There's a scratching, so we've got a field of nine. Set for dispatch. Racing. Good start. Oh, hang on. It's not going to be a good start. It's going to be a pile up, a big one. The lead cars got hooked up, and everyone going on the outside have been squashed into the fence. Hamish McKelpine throws it in reverse, straight into the 26 of Dave Padmore. And we've got a little bit of carnage being sorted out at the moment. They come out of turn four, Hamish McKelpine and Penn on the second row. Racing, that's a better start. Hamish McKelpine already looking for a way through. And the little Nissan would be the only thing that could get through that gap and it got through beautifully. So Hamish McKelpine leads them into the back straight. They won't catch the little Nissan skyline. I'll put my house on it. He's got this one home and hose. They come out of turn four, one down and nine to go. I've got a five bedroom house, so we'll see how we go. Ryan Penn is in second place. Back to Tom Cummins in third, Brown fourth, fifth place. Oh my goodness gracious, further back one car has just exited and we entered the track in front of the back markers. Tom Cummins, meantime, is racing across the infield of rated knots. He's about 30 metres off the track, but he comes back into the main straight of the eight laps to save my house. It's the Nissan skyline of Hamish McKelpine out in front. Ryan Penn's getting a bit too close to my liking in second place. Back in third place is Brown. Fourth place uh, is the riding tour, Phil Benzi. Then Dave Padmore in fifth place. But the little Nissan skyline is going gangbusters at the moment. Back into the main straight he comes. Seven laps to go. Get away, Ryan Penn. You're getting too close. There's two car lengths in it. Back then the Brown in third. Benzi fourth. Dave Padmore, Tom Cummins, Damien Amato. Back then to the 64 car of Ben Pollard and Michael Pierce rounds out the field. Uh, down into turn three and four. The race leader is Hamish McAlpine from Esperance. Six laps to go. McAlpine in the middle of the skyline. Got a great split early in the race and he leads the 84 car of Penn in second place. Back to Brown in third. Brenzi fourth. Dave Padmore fifth. They're nearing the halfway mark. Tom Cummins is sixth, then Amato in seventh. Here he comes into the main drag. Hamish McAlpine, just in front of the 84 car in second place. The yellow lights are on. Oh, Tom Cummins has spun. Tom Cummins has spun, and the Little Nissan Skyline's lead has gone. And Tom Cummins has been in the wars, and he'll be... Uh, rejoining by the looks of it but there will be a restart we'll pick them up in just a tick morning, Ron Amy. and everyone's watching to see if my house will survive because i put my house on hamish mccalp on winning and it's going up in smoke oh the little this and skyline's in trouble oh there goes my house the car's gone up in smoke the little this and skyline is out oh goodness gracious so penn is the lead up from brown Brenzi, padmore Back to Tom Cummins, and in sixth place is Damon Amato, and that's rotten luck for the little miss on Skyline, but it's uh, all out of noise, and you shouldn't make predictions that you can't keep, I think, Jace, as they come out of Palmer's Corner. We've got a great race on our hands. It's Penn ahead of Brown, and Brenzi, Brown in a green car, as they move down the main straight once again, the lap's ticking by, and this is a great race in progress at the moment. Down into turn one and two, they go. Ryan Brown giving great chase on our race leader. And it's young Ryan Penn in front as they come out of turn three and four. Ryan Penn ahead of Ryan Brown. Back to Brenzi in third, Padmore fourth. Then Daniel, uh, Damien Amato in fifth place. And this is gonna go right to the wire. The lap's ticking by, Ryan Penn just in front. Second spot, Ryan Brown as they move out of turn two and down the back straight. Brenzi is in third place. As they move down the back, Dave Padmore's there with Amato. As they come out of Pitts Bend again, Amato's underneath the Padmore. As they come into the main straight, he couldn't make the move. Penn, Brown, Brenzi, Padmore, Amato and Tom Cummins fighting this one out. Back then to Ben Pollard and last is Michael Pierce. They go down the back straight once again. It's Ryan Brown in the green car after Ryan Penn in a purple one. Back to Brenzi who's a car length back in third. Padmore fourth and then Amato and Tom Cummins. One lap remaining in the WA Championship, heat number 20. 
and here comes Ryan Brown looking for a way through on Ryan Penn back then to Brenzi, Padmore and Amato. It's a five way go. Oh, oh the race set has gone sideways. Brown's got cooked up. Brenzi comes around the outside. Padmore goes into the fence. So too does Amato. They fight back. Cummins goes to third. It's all happening. Penn wins. Brenzi second. What a race. Cummins third. Brown fourth with a flat tyre. Amato fifth. Pollard six. Padmore's gone from third to seventh and then back to Pierce in eighth place. Well, what a finish. They're all over the place in that last lap and we may not have heard the end of that one either. What a race and what a win by young uh, Ryan Penn in car number 64. Thanks, Jason, Tony. Ryan, well done, mate. Um, you've come all the way up from Albany along with many other drivers. Um, that was a fantastic race. L the last lap was probably the messiest one I've ever seen. You wouldn't have seen it, but it just it happened all behind you. Well done, son. Yeah, thanks. I'd just like to thank um, my dad and my pit crew, Ethan, for helping me rebuild the car. I rode it off three weeks ago. So, yeah, thanks to Collie Track and everybody. Yeah, thanks.